Docking day, Atlantis's final visit to the International Space Station. And here in the shuttle flight control room, the team that will guide Atlantis to its destination today, the Orbit 1 team of flight controllers is on duty, having taken a handover from the planning shift that oversaw the crew's sleep period and the replanning efforts uh, for today's timeline activities. Atlantis today will be making the 46th and final docking of a space shuttle to a space station. The Atlantis, of course, was the first shuttle to dock to the Mir space station in June of 1995, 16 years ago, on the STS-71 mission. In all, space shuttles have docked nine times to the Mir space station, Atlantis having uh, carried the load during the shuttle Mir program with seven such dockings to Mir. There have been 36 dockings to the International Space Station and 11 to date by Atlantis. Today will, be, of course, be the 12th and final docking by a space shuttle to the International Space Station. Houston, uh, welcome on board. DTV uh, to the flight deck if you want. Houston copies. Atlantis Houston, good config for the burn. Copy, good config. Flying high over the Atlantic Ocean off the west coast of Africa. We're just uh, 30 seconds away from this uh, course correction burn as we watch uh, over the shoulders of Chris Ferguson and Doug Hurley up on the flight deck of Atlantis. Ten seconds out. The propulsion officer reports two good engines burning. You can see uh, very clearly the cannon-like jolt of those big orbital maneuvering system engines. And courtesy of space station cameras, uh, our first view of the shuttle Atlantis. Good burn Atlantis, no trim required. Here in the uh, shuttle flight control room, the uh, rendezvous officer reports that we are locked on to the International Space Station through rendezvous navigation. Currently processing uh, through the general purpose computers, everything right on track. And Atlantis, we're still on board with you and the camera and the flight deck, really enjoying it. Thanks for uh, inviting us on board. Anytime, Steve Eary. We're waving. Hey, Rex is going to try to show you where we're headed here. Hey, thanks, Rex. That was neat. Felt like we were being right there. Certainly brought back memories. In Atlantis, you are go for TI. Go for TI. Great news. Thanks, Houston. You bet. Good engine, good control. Terminal initiation burn in progress. Atlantis Houston, good burn, no further trim required. Good burn. The uh, image of Atlantis uh, growing a bit more perceptible from cameras on the International Space Station.
through uh, the centerline camera in the orbiter docking system, this sequential still video view of the International Space Station. This is uh, through the S-band communications system uh, while we await the reacquisition of a KU-band downlink communications signal. Atlanta Station on the Big Loop, we have you in sight. Excellent. We'll be there soon. We're waiting. The rendezvous officer here in Mission Control now reports uh, that Atlantis has arrived on the R bar. That's the radial vector, the line between the space station and the Earth. Chris Ferguson uh, will uh, make his way now to the aft flight deck uh, to begin to slowly fly uh, up the radial vector to that uh, position just 600 feet directly below the station. The view of Atlantis from the International Space Station. Atlantis, Houston, you are go for the RPM. Go to proceed inside 600 feet. Atlantis copies. Go for the RPM and go to proceed inside 600 feet. Houston Station, Atlantis on the big loop, initiating RPM in three, two, one, mark. We copy. Houston copies. With that, uh, Commander Chris Ferguson now will begin the uh, slow three-quarter of a degree per second rotational backflip. This, again, is about a nine-minute maneuver. You'll hear... Uh, the start photography call initiated uh, when the orbiter is in the correct orientation of this procedure. The actual R-bar pitch maneuver will last about nine minutes in duration, about 93 seconds of available photography for Sergei Volkov, Mike Fossum, and Satoshi Furukawa. Poetry in motion as Atlantis conducts the final R-bar pitch maneuver in shuttle program history. Station Atlantis on the big loop. Start photos. And with that, uh, a period of about 93 seconds of uh, good photography. Now initiated for uh, Sergei Volkov, Mike Fossum, and Satoshi Furukawa using uh, digital cameras and high-powered lenses out of the Zvezda service module. And with that, uh, the uh, digital imagery comes to an end. Hundreds of photos were snapped during this 90-second uh, period of available photography. Like no other vehicle can, the space shuttle completing its uh, R-bar pitch maneuver, passing over the North Atlantic, Atlantis holding rock solid. The uh, rendezvous officer uh, indicates to Flight Director Quatziella Barujo that uh, Commander Chris Ferguson has flown a textbook R-bar pitch maneuver. Soon uh, he will uh, initiate uh, what is called the Torva 
maneuver, the twice orbital rate V-bar arrival maneuver, in which he will break out of the radial vector and move to a position about uh, 310 feet or so in front of the International Space Station along the velocity vector or the direction of travel for both vehicles. And you can see the structure of the International Space Station now coming into view as both spacecraft to pass over the limb of the Earth. Atlantis coming up on the uh, so-called V-bar, the velocity vector. Atlantis Houston on the big loop. The teams have been pulled in concurrence. You are go for ducking. Atlantis on the big loop copies. Go for ducking. And back with television from the International Space Station, you can see uh, in the darkness over the Indian Ocean uh, the illuminated payload bay of the shuttle Atlantis. 168 feet separating Atlantis from the International Space Station. This view looking right down at the uh, orbiter docking system, the uh, ring having been extended uh, yesterday, the docking mechanism systems checked out, everything in readiness for contact and capture about 19 minutes from now. Houston, Atlanta, sound two. We're going to configure KU for comm now. Roger, KU, going to comm. And again, the view from the uh, camera set up in the... Uh, orbiter docking mechanism uh, through a sequential still video looking back down towards pressurized mating adapter number two on the docking target. Houston and station Atlantis on the big loop. We don't see a fly out. We're initiating final approach. Houston copies. Station copies. Pilot Doug Hurley informing uh, both uh, station and shuttle flight control rooms that no flyout is required, meaning no additional alignment required. Commander Chris Ferguson uh, is dead spot on with the two docking mechanisms uh, perfectly aligned, 24 feet uh, separating the two spacecraft, pressing in for final approach and docking. Contact, docking confirmed. Capture confirmed at 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Houston, the station Atlantis, capture confirmed and we see free drift. Station Atlantis, Houston, station free drift is confirmed. Pilot Doug Hurley confirms the arrival of Atlantis. The station now in free drift. Atlantis arriving. Welcome to the International Space Station for the last time. That's great to be here, station. We'll see you shortly. Houston headed a block 22 off. I'm sure so done with the... Uh, Sequence key card. Atlantis, we copy. No deltas for 22 alpha. Um, over on the flight plan, the post stocking hatch leak check will be done by MCC. And uh, less to go on said, we thought that was just a beautiful and perfectly executed rendezvous and docking. Hey, Stevie Ray, I'll tell you, kudos to, uh, to our rendezvous team, Nick Adosi and his folks. Uh, you know, we are well-trained, Alan and uh, Alan Fox and Steve Gauvain. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see our station folks soon. Thank you, Fergie.